Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Um, I will be posting a flip through of my previous journal here in a little while. I recorded the flip through a few months ago so it's only half of my previous journal but when I finished it and kind of looked at where I stopped in the flip through onto the end that's really all I could show you. So uh, I hope you enjoy that. This is a, I guess, mini video series I'm going to be doing doing uh, every week. This is based off of Paperworms Halloween, Paper 2K 2020, or 2K20 journaling challenge prompt. I'm sorry, I'm really tired. I got off work not too long ago. Um, so I don't have a lot of time to actually decorate the journal my journal with for every prompt and uh, post a picture online i'm just really tired i drive two hours from home to work and back so by the time i get home i don't have any energy and i don't have any lighting i only really have time for stuff like this on the weekends so every weekend i will be posting a video of prompts i'm going to take the prompts for the week and make a collage i think that'd be really fun and interesting I want to do uh, Melly's challenge too. I'll see what I can do, but I definitely want to do actually finish at Danny, aka Paperworms, Paper 2K20 since every year. I've been doing it since 2016, so the past four years. I've never made it to the end, and I feel really bad because she, you know, puts a lot in effort to making the little post, the picture with the prompts on it, and coming up with the prompts. And I know it's something she really looks forward to. So, I'm going to try and do that. Uh, this is the first prompt, which is, uh, hello October, welcome October. So, this one is only the first prompt, so I, this will be, I'll be taking the first, or the last seven prompts and making it into maybe a two-page collage spread. There's my head and my weird part in my hair. Looks like I have a bald spot. Weird. Uh, anyways. Uh, Yeah. So, hope I won't say hopefully, I will do it. I'm pretty, I feel determined to do this, so I will get it done. And uh, let me tell you what's going on, if it's not obvious enough, is uh, I am, I cut out some, some letters with my Cricut just spelt in October. I wanted to layer it so it looked like a shadow, but it just didn't work and my hands are kind of sticky from the glue stick. So it kept sticking together and I got frustrated, but I like the way this turned out. This is the the bat paper I really love. I got it from Joann's. Instead of buying whole paper pads, because a lot of the paper pads I have, maybe half of them are pages I really like, and I'm stuck with a bunch of pages I only kind of like. I Sometimes it works out and I can come up with a good uh, Happy Mail for it, but... Um, if you're in the U.S. and you can get to a Joann's, a lot of the times they have really good sales on single pieces of scrapbooking paper, like 20 cents, 15 cents for one sheet of scrapbooking paper, and you can kind of build your own scrapbooking paper pad in a way, and you can get really unique designs as compared to just a pre, a pre-organized or a, Pre-set up. I'm not sure what word I'm looking for right now. It's at the tip of my tongue. Pre-curated. There we go. That sounds better. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, Pre-curated. That's just, just what I'm going to say. Paper pad. So this is one of the sheets I got from Joann's. And I really, really like it. And then the journaling card is from a paper pad. Or a... I guess it's a scrapbook piece of paper but it's journaling cards and you cut it up so that's what I used for that that I got last year I can't remember I got off scrapbook.com don't remember the brand if I can find it I'll put it in the description which in the description I'm putting a mystery link just for fun as a way for people to find different um creators or maybe learn something interesting it might not always be a YouTube video but maybe a wikipedia page or an interesting website so that'll be fun these are more those journaling cards are from last year too the same paper paper pad journaling card set that's what i'm gonna say so i bought this vellum 
not i can't talk i'm so sorry a vinyl bag i got it in the sewing section of uh, hobby lobby and uh i'm gonna be using this from now on just to organize my stickers i had a a one gallon plastic food bag and i put papers and stickers i wanted to focus on using up i still kind of have that but with my setup now being different than before uh this will work better for me to use stuff up than i was skipping through an ad in a video if you didn't saw me clicking on my keyboard just now so i think that'll be really good i didn't have as many halloween scrapbooking paper pads as I thought I did. Here's some ephemera pieces I got this year. I ordered some more Halloween stuff last month. I I haven't been seeing as much Halloween themed anything in craft stores or in the paper, the paper craft section. I think Hobby Lobby is, it didn't have any Halloween displays at all. It was, they're already decked out for Christmas, which I'm a uh, hundred percent about. I've I love Christmas, so I'm not complaining too much. It's just, I guess, it's so weird. It feels like Halloween's fading away in a way, so that's really sad. Uh, I bought a few more decorations or a sign. I don't know why I'm really frugal in some ways and not so much in others. Like a something I need that's practical is five dollars. Whoa, too much, but I can spend. $50 on craft supplies. It doesn't make any sense. And here I am trying to find tape or something to layer behind those Happy Halloween die cuts, but I end up not finding anything. But either way, I really like the way it turned out, and I added a few more stickers and stuff off camera a lot later. Something interesting is when I first started journaling, once I finished a page, in my mind, it was done. It was how it was meant to be so I never added anything even if I wanted to because it felt like it was disingenuous or corrupting the page which is weird but now I, I don't mind going back um, to more recent journals I have I don't really do that with the older ones the ones from five years ago I leave those as they are but the more recent ones, like if I've used them in the past year or two, I don't mind going back and adding things, but I don't really look through my old journals as much as I used to, maybe a few times a year, once a month maybe, but even that's pushing it. But I managed to ramble through this whole video, so I hope you enjoyed. I will catch you in the next one. I'm posting this hopefully Thursday, October 8th, which is today at 7.30 p.m. So you will get a lot of videos this week, hopefully, if I can keep up. But definitely posting Danny. 